Okay. Hey. Three people that are here early. What? That's right. Ready to work? We don't even know what we're doing. We have zero clue what oh, we're, we're doing. It's one of those Tuesdays, Mondays. We're here. Mondays, Tuesdays. <clears throat> I know. I don't like the Tuesday, Monday. Well, I couldn't wake up today. It felt weird. Couldn't weird. figure out what day it was. <laughs> like, uh... Where, where we were. Did you already take pictures of those? I didn't list those. Did I list those? Maybe I did. I got no reason to get Okay. Oh, you have to get a box. Are you doing clothes? I don't know. Look at our clothes. They're looking a little skinty. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing, but I gotta put these in a box and get a box or something. Cause who's here? Oh, these lurkers. Got the lurkers. <laughs> who's lurking? We try to sell some stuff. It's not working out though. We sold one thing so far. I don't know. Dan got us nine empty boxes the other day when he condensed. That was good. Hey, Cynthia. We got to take a picture of friends. Did you? Yeah, but there was something about the clothes, and you were like, ah. Because they were made in West Germany. Yeah, like, I don't okay, know. Okay, fine. Clothes. I got to look stuff up. I do. I still have to look stuff up. I would put her on your desk. Tinkerbell with a broken neck. We got these purses also. We got purses. We got these purses. List your purses and your menswear, oh. kids. That's that is what is. That's what we're recommending because for us, you know, we don't really sell a ton of menswear. Or do you take pictures of floppy old floppy head here? No, no. I have not taken pictures of old floppy headed Tinkerbell. We got nine, you know, we She's so sad. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh They're killing me. Oh fine. Oh <laughs> uh, hey Matt. Hey Carl. Yeah, we, we condensed and we had nine boxes, which is incredible, actually, because I think overall we only have, like, I don't know, 30 boxes. So, like, a third of them we were able to clear up. That was great. And it only took me, like, what, a little over two hours? It's not even that long. Not even two hours. No. I was dreading it. My husband is cutting foam insulation board as we speak for my photo board. I'm tired of getting up and down on the floor. Amen. Yes. Amen. I think. Mm. Hey, hey. No, oh. <laughs> you actually meant that. <laughs> Megan said the hey, hey was do a tag. Smell some good and bread and butter. I love my reseller boxes. I'm really glad because we have no idea what's in them. Yeah, no clue. We made them a long time ago. So I, I literally said to Dan, like, should we open these up? And he's like, no, I think they're pretty good. <laughs> Because we put all of our good stuff in it. It was when we were overwhelmed. We were moving rooms in our house. Well, we had just moved into our house. And so we just boxed up all of our inventory. So we had no death pile for like a hot second. And then we had death pile. <laughs> we had a death pile again like the next weekend. It was fine. Um, so it was all stuff. We either got rid of it and took it to the Goodwill or yep. put it in a box. Yep. So the stuff we would have listed. It didn't go to the Goodwill. So hopefully right. it was good. Hopefully you make some money. That's the the optimum response here. Total mouth breather. <laughs> Total mouth just what Matt said. I'm 100% worn out and I don't want to list, but I haven't done anything in four days and my sales are dead. No, Amanda. I'm going to need you to get it together. Get yourself a coffee. Or your beverage of choice, non-alcoholic, preferably. List one thing, and then you list another thing. So we listed Friday. So we were here with you guys Friday. Then Saturday, Sunday, and Monday we listed by ourselves, without you guys. Who are we? We just listed by ourselves. 
in this room. Couldn't believe it. And it took like an hour only. We we're flying. Actually, yesterday we listed like 14 things. They're in my draft bank. It was all Playmobil, but that doesn't matter. We still listed it. What happened? <laughs> oh, Cynthia had a great day on Posh today. Okay. The eBay's asleep. Not surprised. It's been on and off for us all weekend. We sold one thing today. It was a good thing, but only one thing. Amanda's drafting. She just got home from cleaning her grandma's house for four hours. And the previous two days, we were doing fireworks in, all, in the heat all day. Oh, see, this whole 4th of July thing, it's got to go. <laughs> it's too much stress. Dan and I did not even walk outside to see the fireworks. We were watching some murder show, and we just kept watching. It's actually pretty good. It's the um, one with Jesse Pinkman with Aaron Paul. Uh, and who's the main? Uh, Octavia Spencer. Apple Plus. On Apple Plus. I knew it had come out a couple of years ago, but I just never watched it. And now there's two seasons of it. And it's actually pretty good. What's it called? Something about truth. Truth be told. Truth be told. So we were watching that. And we went to the top us last night. Season oh. One. We were watching season one. Y'all. I don't know where you live, but oh. if there's a Barcelona tapas bar where you live, I just found out it was a chain from my friend who said there's three in DC. Go there. We were not there when I left. Go there immediately. Do not pass go. Go there. So good. We ate so much food. And then the guy gave us a really big discount. And so we gave it back to him in the tip because he knew that was going to happen. And we were here for that hustle. <laughs> he was like, it's your anniversary. I gave you whatever, 20% off. And we were like, mm, thank you. And then we, of course, he gave it right back to him. Which I'm sure he was betting on if he was a betting man. Because he was a good server. It was great. So we had a really, good. We had a good time. All right, let me let me catch up here. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. I found some practically new Irish setter red wings today. Yes, Matt. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, twelve ninety nine. It should sell pretty quick for eighty five to one hundred. Those are the best kind of flips. You know, like ones when people say bread and butter, to me that means like cheap and kind of fast but i'm more for like the with what do you call it with something flash flash and bang burn bang what's the thing like like when when a grenade goes off you see the flash yeah very quick it's called something flash bang bang flash uh, flash bang is the thing that pops the but yeah, it like blinds you and then it goes away. That's what I'm here for. The flash bang sales. So like they're quick, but you make a lot of money. The bread and butter, I'm not here for. The quick-ish, but you make like 10 or 12 bucks. <laughs> not here for it, right? Those flash bang sales. I think I'm going to coin this. Is that what it's called? Flash bang. Well, I, yeah. Well, like I said, the thing. Okay. Well, the flash bang sales <laughs> is what I'm here for. Those red wings. Yes. You list them and they're like. You're sure they're going to sell. You're sure it's going to be for close to $100. Boom, boom. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I'm so bad at expression. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I said boom, boom. <laughs> hey, this is like tea leaves and stuff. Do you um, wanna... Okay. Are we doing hard goods? I don't know. You said these purses. Yeah, probably no good. No good. Okay, wait. Is anybody gonna want this? No, I didn't say topless. Tapas. Tapas. T A P A S. They had the, oh my god, the best. Okay, so they we got this cauliflower dish it's that goes with that. Yeah. So we got this cauliflower dish, and it had like the most banging aioli underneath of the cauliflower. I know this sounds like it wouldn't be that good. It oh. was the most amazing thing I've ever eaten in my life. This is what's so good about tapas, like a little teeny plate of like the most amazing flavor explosions you ever had. And we just got all of them. We were like, just keep bringing them. <laughs> and then we have a whole bottle of champagne, obviously. And then he tried to get us to get a second bottle. And we were like, <laughs> tried. I was thinking about it. We did not. But we were within walking distance of our house, so we could have. True. Hidden 
pocket. That's your money. Come on, money. <laughs> no. Oh, two My hidden dad pockets. was at the hospital yesterday. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no money. He's fine, but we didn't do anything in case he had to go help them to did list here. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad he's okay. <laughs> Megan's trying to help me flash in the pan. Like, that's good. That's good. Whatever it means when you buy something that you know is like a banger and it will sell quickly. There's no term for that in the eBay space that I've ever heard. When you buy something that you're, I mean, like, I'm not talking about like a Hoka or something like that. Like, we will flip, but it will flip like 50 or 60. I'm talking about when you buy something and you know as soon as you list it, it's you're going to you're gonna list it for 100 and you'll take an $80 offer. That's what I'm talking about. Those are my, obviously, they're my favorite. They're everyone's favorite. But, like, I think we should switch our focus as a, as a team here. Okay. From bread and butter, which I think is cheap and... I, it's there's a place for it. Okay, we sell a lot of it. But like, let's set our sets our sights higher. Let's set our sights toward those hundred dollar flash bang sales. We just did this. We went thrifting on our anniversary because we couldn't not, and so we're like, we're only gonna bring in things that are fifty dollars and higher. And we, for the most part, we did. We got some things that we never would have picked up because we were comping everything. Got some good things. Dan got a snap, snap back baseball hat that's worth a lot, which we probably wouldn't have looked at before. I can't remember what I got, but I got something. Bombs. <laughs> Simple, to the point, I like it. Found one of my old tech decks while cleaning earlier. You know how hard it is going to be for me to get rid of any listings done now. <laughs> Good luck. Ooh, Time Bombs. I have three favorite songs that are called Time Bombs, so I like it. Um, yeah, you know, we're trying that whole kind of space out where we're, we're trying to find $100 items. We spend just as much time listing a $100 item as you do like a five dollar item but you do spend more time sourcing it i will say that unless you stumble upon the estate sale that we did with all the double d ranch and then stuff's normally over 100. but you can't count on that right so you have to have like a strategy that's going to work long term and so we're trying we're trying to like our asp today for 24 items was 52 dollars, which is pretty good for us normally we're a lot lower than that so I was happy with that. We're just trying. I feel like in a, in a, not a recession, we're not in technically a recession yet, but like, what is it called? Inflation. <clears throat> People are going to spend more on quality things that they're going to keep forever in their minds. That's what I think. That's what's been happening in our store, at least. The higher dollar things have been selling, even though people are like, I can't afford gas. I don't know. Sure, had enough money for fireworks in our neighborhood. I'll tell you that. It was going all night. Hey, Susan. Okay, so there's a three for Matt that you need to check out. So, Time Bomb by Rand said, yes, one of my favorite songs of all time. Then there's Time Bomb by 311, and then there's Time Bomb by um, Iration. Is that Iration? Yeah. In Iration. So, <laughs> do the, put them into your Spotify and listen to them one to one to one. I'm trying to figure out a medley between the three. It's a little hard. But I want Dan's band to play the medley between the three. All three of those songs are banging in their own right. And the one from Iration, it's, it's all about champagne. So I'm like totally here for it. You know what I mean? As I drink my coffee. I've already had two champagnes, y'all. I need to like slow it down. It's the day back, so. Okay, Tracy says, where I'm living, I ha well, listen to Time Bomb. Where I'm living, I have to list bread and butter until I can venture out of town, which is supposed to happen often, but hasn't happened at all. So I love the fast, mediocre flips right now. Me too. Like I was saying, we, we kind of like live and die by those, but I'm trying to just like, I guess, Tracy, what I was saying is like, we've been going to the thrift stores and looking up stuff we wouldn't have normally looked up. 
And we've been finding some bangers. Like the snapback cats. We wouldn't have like taken the time to look those up. We would have been like either yes or no and then made a decision and walked away. But now we've been so we before we walk in the thrift store, we're like, okay, don't bring out anything unless it's fifty dollars profit. And so then we're like on a little bit of a treasure hunt. We don't need inventory. That's I guess I should say that disclaimer. If we needed inventory, this would be a different conversation. We don't need it in <laughs> We don't need inventory, and so we were thrifting for fun. So we went in with, like, a treasure hunt kind of mind. Like, what can we find in here that's worth more than $50 profit? I think it's a good exercise to do every once in a while, even at, like, a regular thrift store. Because you can find things you would never expect. Oh, no. Susan said, today's daily video was so fun. The little train wreck, Susan. <laughs> we're crazy. We are crazy today. Duluth and Liberty overalls. Sell them up, babe. People are buying them. We just bought some Carhartt. They're kind of cute, though. Like little carpenter women's overalls. I bought it's them. Carhartt. Carhartt. I bought them as part of my $50 challenge. And they're actually worth more than 50 so there you go. They need to be. I think this is, like, what people need to do that have too much inventory and they still want to go thrifting. Because for us, thrifting is, like, a vacation kind what do you call it like stress relief or... it's, fun. it's fun so but we we have the habit of bringing back too much bread and butter like we know we can make money off it but then we're like overloaded with bread and butter so i think mm -hmm. it's a good exercise for people maybe that have too much inventory yeah. we do we have way too much whoa <laughs> i don't want to talk about it let's not talk about it <laughs> Let's bring up the computer screen. Okay. Splatter them with paint. That's so true, Kyle. Run them over with your car. Oh, even Arcteryx. See, we've never found that. We've never found Arcteryx or Viore ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever. All right, what are we listening? Rebecca Minkoff? No. Okay. Wrong. Oh, uh, it's actually, what is it? Hmm. I forgot. Batke. It's called, I think I know what it's called. Okay. Hey, so, Sal. Look up the... Oops, trigger crossbody bag. Boom. Boom. Yes. Google image worked. It's not a banger. Not it's a banger. Okay. Well, somebody has it on here for a hundred. They crazy. They in they, they crazy. It looks just like Rebecca Minkoff. I don't know which one stole it from which one, but Oh, I'm sure they stole it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are bound and determined to get stuff listed today. It's weird the colors are selling, but not the black ones. Huh. huh. Normally it's the opposite in purse land. People want the neutral. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, here we go. Tracy said, I have a pair of Roar, Roar, you said, you blessed me. Mm -hmm, cause I'm hyped. Shorts that <laughs> sold immediately then got returned for fit. Now they won't move. It's frustrating. I've been hearing about all those Vero's with this brand and even the brand logo. Vero's on the Vories. Yeah, and it's like they're yeah. they're Vero-ing your your personal pictures. No, it's another I'm level sorry. of Vero right now. You can't you can't do that. They're doing it. What's the size? It's eight and a half by five and a half by two. And the, the drop is twenty and a half. <clears throat> What's the number? Come on, guy. Start the photo. Forty-five point six. So we're starting to list things that are selling. This is a new strategy we have. 
as of today, right now, okay. five minutes ago. <laughs> You're witnessing the. <laughs> Well, you see, we noticed that today that uh, men's sport coats and women's bags in particular have been selling really, really well. So we're just going to list more of those because that's what's selling. Like, let's go with the data here to see how that works out. I can't explain. I tried to think about why bags and menswear are selling. I, I just don't know. It doesn't that's, make any actual sense to me. That's nice. Where'd that bag come from? We have no idea. Nope. Sweet. What did I say? 45, 26? Yep. You want to guess at a two ninety nine or something? Yeah. I actually think it might have been free. But I, was like, yeah, I think I got the bins. Oh, bins. Or neighbor or bins. I'm not really sure. Well, let's call it bins. And then I need to wait on it. I'm working on getting my ASP up to 70 per piece, and I'm trying to hit to list 50 percent bread and butter and 25 for 25 ASP and 50 percent higher dollar with 20 percent selfie rate. I'm keeping on top of my death pile, and I need to do inventory, and I do need inventory. So all of that sounds great, Megan. That is like, hey, Fiona. Hello. That is exactly I think where. A good resting place is for a reseller is kind of like bread and butter to keep the, the lights on and then those long tail pieces that can bring in some money because if you have enough long tail pieces and this is me just freaking talking I've had two champagnes and two coffees Woo! I'm just talking so don't take what I say or anybody for gossip Sooner or later, you're going to have a lo enough long tail items that you sell four or five of them in a day. And that's what's happening to us. We listed so many $100 items that finally, finally, they're starting to sell multiples in a day. And that's... Speaking of multiples. <laughs> bonus. And that's amazing. And so these style of purses are selling for us right now. I don't know why. These crossbody, this exact style. And so we just pulled all the ones that we have to list and we're listing them. And I think that's another cool trick. Whatever's selling for you, list more of that. Because it's selling. Like if you have two or three things that you can pick up on a pattern, I think that's a really good idea. Because especially in like... You know, trying times like these, as they say. Remember that? For like two years we've been hearing that. Yeah. It's a trying time. Uh, you got to go with what's selling. There's, You can't watch YouTube videos all day long, right? You just got to start listing and be like, okay, well, this is selling for me, so I'm just going to go for it. That's what we've been doing. It's been working out. Three and a half by five and a half by two. Just make sure to change these if you're stealing other people's listings. And I can see the person before me did not change these. I don't know if it affects your sales or not, but I don't want to return because I didn't. One down. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Woo. I government. What's your name? I'm gonna remember it. Give me your name. I appreciate your YouTube comments more than you know. Cup of coffee. Exactly right. Hi, Krillin. Long Island. Kevin. Did I already ask you this? Because that would seem really familiar to me. I got it now. I'm down with it. Kevin. I, government, it's Kevin. Got it. Dan won't remember. He said he got it. He ain't got it. I ain't got it. <laughs> he ain't got it. Come on, Amanda. Grab a thing right now. Grab the first thing beside you. What is it? Tell us all what it is. Make yourself accountable. 
Okay, Fiona did a thing. She actually listed. <laughs> Yay, go me. Thanks for the help, guidance, and encourage everyone. Yes, Fiona listed a thing. Yes. When you list one thing, then you can list two things. That's how it goes. It's easy. You could do two things. You got snappy at some Poshmark. Uh oh. People on Poshmark are crazy sometimes. They get emboldened over there. Ooh, pearl snap short sleeve shirt, bread and butter. Ooh, come on now, list it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Dudes don't care. That's Dan's phrase. You're that's that's what needs to be on the shirt. And it needs to be like a perma wrinkle shirt. <laughs> Dudes don't care. <laughs> it's true. Is it a dude shirt? I didn't even ask. I am working on a draft of the first pair of frame jeans I've ever found. Okay. I, I'm hit and miss with frame right now. I'm interested to see what the what kind of style you have. Kyle says, trying times. An eBay algorithm love saga coming this fall to the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> I love it. And Matt is shouting in a Rob Schneider voice, you can do it! You can do it! <laughs> okay, Kevin said, my wife has a ton of clothes from when she did eBay a long time ago, trying to get some pointers and maybe start listing them now! Yes! So do you do, um, Kevin, do you have an eBay account or store or anything like that right now as of this very moment? <laughs> Fiona said, no, I listed 40 things, sold a gun at the two hour mark and oh God, panic. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tracy said, I saw a used pair of frame jeans for $70 no. in a thrift store the other day. No, you should leave that thrift store immediately. Oh my, I'm shocked. I'm not, you? I'm not like, kidding. That's, that's ridiculous, man. You can't charge $70 at a thrift store for a pair of pants. There are some people on the chat, Kevin. If you ever have questions for people that aren't us, uh, just ask them in the chat. There's some people that do sell sports cards and other kind of cards in the chat. I know Matt sells Pokemon cards, if you have any of those. Uh, Dan sells some kind of nerd cards and sports cards sometimes. But other people in the chat are much more versed in that. Especially some people that I haven't seen yet tonight, they'll come in and they are more versed. So just ask the question, and if I see them, I'll definitely ask for you. But... As we keep saying, if you don't list it, you can't sell it. So, might as well list it. Some money's better than no money. No money. Les skinny, les je, jean, 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 on black, and they're ripped versions. Okay, I'm interested. Yeah, see this when they do that, Megan. So Megan said, I told them off for asking to look at their closet when I haven't liked or bundled anything. I hate that. Mm. I told them I'm selling to feed my four kids. <laughs> and they should use my four shoppers tool instead. Get up. <laughs> uh, Kyle's heavy into the, to, uh, Spice Girls cards. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. I'll remember. I'll remember that. <clears throat> Ink kiss cards. I like that. Better than Dan, who's in the magic in Dungeons and Dragons. Nerd card. If you need any nerd card advice, we're here all day. Nerd husband, right here. Asterisk. I wasn't in that in high school. And I sold some of them. We did recently. one of them was like four hundred dollars. See, land card. <laughs> no du dual. Dual, dual land. land card. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Are right, you ready for this thing? You have not told me what it is. Right? I'm about to. All right. It's called the Coach Mini City Zip Tote in Wild Plaid. Woo! Google Lens works again. And it has the addition. It has the additional little whatever coin purse. Yeah, man. I was in Spice Girls a long time ago. Does that have the tags or not? It doesn't have the tags anymore, but it still has the little bar. I mean, it looks. They're ne never used. You can call it new without tags. Yeah, because I, I can confirm. 
right? So, do you need me to measure this? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't put it in the last one. Dang it. Oh, I even measured it and everything. You, did you put it on the little board? On the wifey? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I did not take a picture of the wifey. No. <laughs> but it was 20 and a half, I remember. Better. I, I'm not going back. <laughs> Okay, so this is, and also with, what is it with? Let me see the little thing. The little coin purse thing? Mm -hmm. Do you know what that's called? I do not. With clutch. Perfect. I know you're not supposed to use the ampersand, but I did. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. 4527. Do we think that's black and white? Mm -hmm. No, it's like a. I don't know. Is it navy or black? What do you mean? I don't well, know. Oh, it's black for sure, but it's not oh. white. It's like an ivory. Or oh, something. no, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. I was trying to decide whether it was black or navy. Oh, okay. Maybe. <laughs> So, can, did you take a picture with them side to side? I did. Yes. Okay, what is the um, size of the handbag? 12 by 8 by 4. Hope you guys had a good weekend. And what is the clutch measure? Six by four. Fiona, I took my two eldest to see the Spice Girls. They weren't bad, but David Beckham was better. Oh my god. Amen, sister. Amen. New without tags. This lady is behind me. Why don't you move? Because. Twelve by eight by four. I think it's four by eight by nine. Well, I just laid it here and was like the side to side and it was 12. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, everyone's pining over David Beckham, including Sal. Yes, <laughs> yes. We love him. <laughs> Bend it like Beckham, remember? Old that movie, but I still watched it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good pricing everything at $59.95 or $99.95. It's been working out. Highly recommend a pricing strategy. <laughs> Y'all, did you watch the video today? If you haven't, it's okay. But we sold this like ratty ass, uh, sorry for saying the A word, uh, lovey for 40 bucks. I mean, it was. <laughs> Missing an ear and everything. It should have been in the dumpster. 40 bucks. Boom. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> it was so bad. I watched it and I forgot how to watch it. I was like, oh. Yeah, Can I send you pictures? Yeah, I'm ready. First drop done. Yes, Amanda. Yes. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> He's so pretty. <laughs> I'm really, really grateful that you got your first draft done, Amanda, because that will make everyone else a little bit more motivated to get their first draft done. Oh, we got a return delivered. Once you get your first one done, everything else is pretty wow. slam dunk after that. Gravy. Once I start listing, if I can get one done, I can get 10 done. No problem. Oh, no. Oh. eBay's acting a fool again. Why are you always going to act up? When it does this with the one last photo, it it's no good. It's no good. Where? Right, you have to plug on me. Where? Right here. On your nipples? 
You're very close. You definitely pointed at your nipples. Proximity. Oh, good. I hope you get things going soon. Sooner the better. I was watching your other videos. It's there's no rush. There's just no rush. You'll get it all. It's better if you just take it in at your own pace, Kevin. Like eBay takes forever to learn. eBay's not working. Anybody else is eBay not working? I can't upload pictures. It's flooded. We'll just wait a while. <laughs> you stop. You stop it. All right. When it starts doing that, you just it won't work. Yeah, you just gotta wait a while. <laughs> Refresh. That's what I'm doing. We've had contractors in our house. It's so good. Ooh, Sal just sold something. Did I? Let me see. Everybody check. No, I got a return. Ah, oh, weak. Yep. Lame. Super lame. I have been cross-listing almost everything that you popped, and we still have not had a sale. I don't know what to do over there. I'm trying everything. My friend, like, we did a little interview with her. We never aired it, but she was just like, sell everything for cheap. <laughs> we suck. I don't really play that game, the sell everything for cheap game. I didn't, I didn't. That's the opposite of selling something. Dang it. I mean, it wasn't a new return. We knew it was coming. It just arrived. Well, we sold a bunch of things last week, so you know you're going to get a bunch of returns. At least three. We sell a bunch of stuff. That's how we that happens for us, at least. It happens in threes. Let's see if these pictures are low now. Come on. Come on. You got this. Come on, eBay. Yep. Nope. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. We got it. Just took some time. Okay. I'm not ready in any way, shape, or form. Am I ready? Okay. I wasn't ready. You sound like you were revving up. I'm just going to play with the next time it's called. Nope. If you were. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm almost ready, though. Megan said, I listed three so far, working on number four now. I photographed 12 items today. Nice. Nice. Bought four hard goods and eight clothes. Baby girl, let me work two hours with my mother, with my mother's helper. That's great. Sal says, I don't sell much on Depop either. I had a sale on Bonanza this week. I've never had any interest on Bonanza. Weird. We've never done Bonanza. I know it's not much effort. Maybe we should. Since we do sell a lot of like plush and stuff. Okay, what is this? The coach signature coach secret. Right. How's the condition? Um, I haven't super checked, but pretty good for what I saw. Oh, okay. My little tigs. I'm not selling it for fifteen dollars. Sorry, kids. That's not gonna happen. Number two done. Yes, come on, Amanda. Come on, Amanda. No, I've had way too much coffee today. It is incredible how much this how much your system can handle. Oh my okay. god. They just keeps bringing it to me. What is that about? I'm working on genealogy today. It's pretty exciting. So I'm a little bit backlogged right now, but if you have a genealogy conundrum, email us at some point soon. <laughs> I'm backlogged right now. But I'm having fun with it, trying to figure out some parentage for some viewers, actually. Oh. And uh, it, it does take a lot of time, but love I love it so much. So it's almost like relaxing and watching TV. 
it's like that kind of a time, you know, I just need to figure out a time in the day to carve out to do that where I'm not feeling guilty for not listing or whatever. Maybe like after this. I get so into it though, I won't be able to sleep. So I did genealogy today from like three to five, but I could have done it forever. And if I do it after this, I won't be able to sleep because my mind will be in that realm. I love finding out people's parents. Parentage is my passion. There's just this part, right? No other extra. Yeah. You like a serial number? Two, five, four, seven, zero. This one? Yeah. yeah. Two, five, four, seven, zero. Yeah. <laughs> it's this, the second part. I'm sorry. I was looking at the first part of the number. <laughs> Dead. Oh, Krillin got notified. Two suits coming back. Oh, no. The worst. Like, look uh, at the measurements. Come on. We sold a Jason Witten suit. Did, oh, yeah. He probably hasn't seen. Um, Krillin, we sold a Jason Witten suit. Lombardo. It was a 48 extra long, and some guy messaged us asking how much room the pants had to let out, and they were already at a 38-inch inseam. He must have been so super tall. We were really happy to sell it to him because it had four inches to let out. <clears throat> Amy, I would sign up for Bonanza. It's easy to set up as pirate ship. Email comes in that you sold something and it automatically delists on eBay. All right, Dan's on it. <laughs> No. You don't have to do anything. You don't even have to cross list. It just like does it. Okay. But then do we get another stupid tax form? Oh, that's the worst. Uh oh, we got a lurker. Jackass Retro. Uh -oh, I love your name. Long time lurker. <laughs> Self proclaimed. First time chatter. Yes. Listing vintage matchbox cars at the moment. Oh, I have some questions about that actually. <laughs> I, are, are they, do they have to be in the package? Okay, Matt knows you apparently. Matt's all, hey jackass. <laughs> I love it. Um, cause I have some old ones, but I just don't think they're worth anything. They're kind of like play weird. But they are old, like from the 60s. Is that old? I don't even know. Is this where I should measure? The width? Down here? Sure. Yeah, he needed more. So we replied that there was four inches to let out, and then he, he gave us a half price offer, but we took it because the size was so obscure, you know? And it was like a football player suit, so you know it was a huge suit, like football player. And um he bought it. He bought it. He, he offered 160 and we we're like, who else is going to buy this suit? Let's sell it. So he did. Hopefully it doesn't come back. But it says in it, like, custom made. We have so many football player suits. I don't know. There must be, like, when they come to Cowboy Stadium, they probably, like, yeah, get a custom when suit. Yeah, they broadcast, like, Monday Night Football. Yeah, Monday Night Football. They get a custom suit and then they immediately take it to the thrift the, giant right there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I can't sell blues. I'm not uber knowledgeable. Basically, I just pump them list. That's what I. That's what I would do too. I was looking at them. They just didn't look like that. That great. But I get a bunch of them in junk bags, and I never know what to do with them. Maybe I should just lock them up. That's what people tell me. Carlin said those athlete suits are hard to sell because there is a huge drop from chest to waist. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. That's why we were like, let's just sell this thing. I was hoping that someone would buy it for like memorabilia and they might with like the Terry Bradshaw suit that we have because he's more like Hall of Famer or whatever. Um, but yeah, who knows? We just bought it. It was there. It was cheap. Okay, what's the number? 4528. I still can't remember the other one we have. We have another one. From Cowboys. Oh no, you said it was no, Broncos. What's that guy's name? Freaking, freaking. <laughs> What's a Broncos guy's name? Is he like the main Broncos guy? Yeah, quarterback. Who's a Broncos quarterback from back in the day? We got him. We got him. 
John Elway. Elway. I just said that. Nobody said that. I said that. Yes, that's the guy. Y'all, I'm so sporty spice today. <laughs> yes. You gotta hit the like button to see if I can get a sale. I love how this turned into a, a casino. <laughs> I love it so much. What sparked you both to start doing this eBay adventure? That's a really good question, Kevin. Um, we were, oh, okay. We do have a video about this somewhere. Please don't go watch it. It's so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, what was the, okay. Let me, let me just get this in, in a good place and I'll tell you. I grew up in thrift stores. My grandma, both of my grandmas are thrift store workers and own, not owners, but like, you know, we worked in thrift store for like 20 years at least, probably longer, both of them. And then my grandma in Virginia used to watch us in the summertime, and we would have to go work with her at the thrift stores. So I grew up working in thrift store for much of my formative years. And so I've always loved thrifting. Dan, never been to a thrift store in his whole life until me, seriously. And he used to, he used to be the guy that would like sit in the chair. Oh! Like, <laughs> I was. he would, he would like find a thrift store chair and just sit there. And I'm like, oh my God, I would feel all rushed. So I'm a costume designer. So most of the time I would be thrifting, I'd be looking for costumes and I'd be measuring everything and trying to find the perfect pieces for my show that I was doing. And then finally he like got into menswear. I don't know how or why, but finally <laughs> Max cracking up that you were the chair guy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that camera and you tell him you were the chair guy. I was. I was the chair guy. Oh, it was horrible. I was like, oh, I married the wrong guy. It's going to suck. <laughs> I'm seriously, I'm seriously questioning my life choices. I need the measurements and stuff, so give me just a sec after I put the pics. Um, anyway. This is where I don't know. So if I measure it at the very bottom, it's 10. But if I lay it flat, you know, we're. Yeah, I put it approximately. Right. Okay. Okay, so the other person put, oh, they didn't put bag width. 10. I say they put 13. Okay, so I measured 14 actually. Okay, okay, 13. Okay, height. 10. Depth. 3 and a half. Okay. Um. You were the chair guys cracking me. <laughs> this one. I think it ties onto the edge. Wait, is it coach? Yeah. Yeah, it ties onto the edge. We can just sell it separate. Might as well. Mm -hmm. We'll get a baby wipe. And anyway, I'm sorry. Back to my story. Sorry. We were in COVID times. Now, my full time income was from the theater, which, eh, you know, not that great. And everything had shut down. I couldn't do theater for two years. Like, the theater would not hire me because they were not doing shows. Everyone was on the brink of complete and utter destruction and we had just started reselling before this in 2019 yeah we were doing like part-time we were doing part-time because i was finding stuff at the thrift store that was worth money and so dan's really good at logistics i don't know if you guys know this about him but like if you give him a to-do list he will get it done and so i would bring stuff home from the thrift store and i was looking for costumes because i'd be looking for like you know worn in crappy costumes that look good for the show but then i would come across like a johnny was or i would come across a prada and so I would pick it up and then I would bring it home to him and I'm like, I need you to sell this. So he found, um, he found his old eBay account and he listed. And then we also, I told him about Poshmark. I was like, there's a site called Poshmark. I need you to figure it out. I don't know anything about it. Just figure it out. And he did. So he kept listing the stuff I would bring home and I would say maybe like 20 things. Yeah. It was really light. It was first. lightweight. And he was, and then he started listing stuff from his own old stuff, his collections and stuff. And he would sell it on eBay that was in 2019. 
And then the pandemic happened and we were like, well, okay. I said, well, I think if we just listed all the stuff in our house, we could sell it. Cause we were trying to just like not go bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so we did, and then we couldn't go to thrift stores. So our first real, um, whatever you call it. I mean, Dan did go thrifting with me before, like I said, he was a scare guy, but we had to get, um, what do you call that? Wholesale. We had to get B&G and thread up. We didn't thrift when we first started reselling. And so a lot of the stuff that's old that we have is from those boxes because the thrift stores were closed. Well, we a little bit of a you're forgetting story. about a little bit. There's like a, a couple of a year. Well, that's what I was saying. Before. That's the stuff I was bringing home 20 at a time that you were listing in real time. We didn't have like a death pile or anything. No, but we did ramp it up to a good amount of listing and possible like that. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was like I would bring home like 20 things. Right, 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 right. It right, wasn't right. like hundreds of things like we do now. No, 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 no. Yeah. So for a year in 2019, we, we were reselling part time. That is for sure. And we were doing it as a side hustle, like many of you. And that's when I was, that's why I said I would do double duty because I was at the thrift store anyway. So I was picking up stuff that was worth money, but Dan wasn't going thrifting with me. This was the difference. He was like not having it, but he would list the stuff when I got home. Somehow along the way, he got into menswear. When did that happen? It, that, it happened before you think, because you, because I definitely went thrifting with you before COVID times. Before so when I brought home the Johnny Woods pants, was that 2018 maybe? Yes. Okay. So I brought home, the first thing we ever resold was four pairs of Johnny Was, um, Pam it, what is it called? Pam and Greta? No. No. Greta. Pete, Pete, Pete and Greta. <laughs> I brought home four pairs of Pete and Greta pants. And I was like, I need you to list these. He was like, these are not going to sell. And then they did like immediately for $100 each. And then after that, I kept bringing home stuff. And then he started going with me. That's true. But you were still kind of pissy about it. <laughs> I'm wondering when the shift happened. <clears throat> Maybe you found like a good suit and you were like, oh, something happened. And he got way into it, way more than I could ever even imagine. I was very excited for him. Bro, where's the, I don't have a front picture of this bag. Bro. Oh, wait, it's a, sorry. I did. That was my bad. <laughs> Distracted hostility. I'm sorry. Um, Kevin said, nice. Kind of sounds like if COVID wasn't a thing, maybe this wouldn't have happened. I agree with you. I think you're right, Kevin. I think I would have kept doing theater for meager wages because the theater uh, paid me, I'm being honest here, it takes me about two months to do a show from start to finish. And uh, they pay you $800. That's it, total. And then you have to pay taxes on top of that. I was making nothing. And so I would try to do two shows at one time and be totally stressed out and driving all over the Metroplex, trying to find costumes, trying to make tech rehearsals, trying to make fittings for $800, for $1,600 for every two months. So I was making $800 a month working two shows at one time. It was horrible. It was so horrible. And now we make that one week. It's like not even like half of a week. Like today in three days, we made $750. I'm just like in three days. I will never go back to that. Even though that's my passion and what I'm trained to do, I won't go back to it. It's crazy. They just abuse artists. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do that. Who would do that? Don't do that. I don't even have to get dressed every day. Like this is the most dressed I get. For you people. <laughs> if I didn't have to go on YouTube, I would not get dressed. I would be in my pajamas. It would be... True. We do it on the weekends. I'd be living in a different life. All right, I'm gonna catch up on these comments now that I think this person posted. <laughs> Tracy said maybe he was hangry <laughs> when you were chair guy. <laughs> you shut up. Do you hate pants? Um, I do hate pants. How did you know that about? I hate pants. <laughs> hate them. Oh, I'm glad you found this channel too. I don't know how to make other people find like this channel. Womp, womp, womp. I'm glad you found it. I don't know how you found it, but that's amazing. See number, don't see number one. What? 
Did you find did you find our other channel first? Probably probably not. If you oh. say you just found this channel. No, no, no. He's on our other channel because he comments on our YouTube videos. Okay, right. He's very, very kind. Oh yeah. Hey, Christy. Christy's lurking. Hello. Tony got some meatball on this first. Oh, probably tacos. <laughs> true. Oh, true. That makes more sense. <laughs> Fiona said could have been worse, Amy. He could have been into ladies wear, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Matt said, number one to do. Don't be the chair guy. <laughs> <laughs> you all know there's always a chair guy, poor guy. Hate life. He's just Hate like, it. ah. Oh, good. Okay, Kevin said he just subbed to this one like a couple of hours ago. Yeah, we had to move over to this channel because it was wrecking our, you know, we had pretty great stats over, and we never had that great stats. I'm joking. The stats were pretty great. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're, we're, it was making our channel suck more than it already sucked, and so we had to move over. It's fine. We just like to make fun of ourselves. It's, we really, it's great. We love the size and amount and quality of subscribers that we have. We freaking love it. I mean that with every ounce of my soul. I'm not being facetious. I yeah. love this little team we have. We have so much fun. Coach. I feel like if it gets weight, like, you know, some people blow up to like 100,000, they'll have like one video. What would we do? We wouldn't even be able to like... I mean, just what we could do. We wouldn't know anybody. It would be too yeah. weird. Hey, hey, hey. And then I would be ultra awkward, can you imagine? <laughs> oh my god, no way. I'm already like mega awkward. I would be like, I couldn't talk. What would I, I would just hide under the computer. Don't, see me. <laughs> Don't you draw in that bag now. I'm not going to draw in the bag. <laughs> As you bling the marker. Oh, I bought you some dry rice markers. I saw bag. that. Thank you. I'm very excited about that. I won't buy office supplies full price. I swear to God. <laughs> if I can't get it at thrift store, we wait till I can find it at thrift store. <laughs> yeah, the other day. Always, like, always does. Do, do we have any more? Just, just no, no, don't. Can you don't do that? I, I, I mean, I gotta. Something. Yeah, can I show you how to do it so it doesn't damage it? Yeah, please do. Okay, bring it over here. Just like go in the outside of that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one called? Um, I don't know what it's called, but I can give you the number and then I can Google it, which if you need me to. Yeah, maybe it's this way. One one five five seven. So boing, boing, boing. Oh, it does have the green. Oh, you done messed up. The green goes with it. It goes with it. You better tie it on and go take a quick pick. Tie it on how? Where? Look, right here. Can you, look? You, know you, can you just tie it on. Look over here. Just tie it. Sure, boy. Okay. <laughs> We have not done anything about Germany yet. Oh, don't make me think about Germany. I really need to turn it off, but I don't know what happens with global shipping. I don't know. We did not sign up with the losing number to ship to Germany. We have not blocked them. We have not done anything. I'm sorry. We haven't. No, I need to. Damn Germans. Sorry. Oh, I guess I should have tied that in both. Some people had it both. <laughs> ah, get back in there. Jen, happy Tuesday. 
Oh man, Fiona said you should clean that purse as the drunken woman. <laughs> Number? 45, 29. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Five drops done. Yes! Do you know what this one's called? Hampton. Thank you. Global shipping doesn't protect you from having a limited number from what I've heard. I've never sold anything to Germany, so I just block them from buying. So, like, what if happens if you sell something via global shipping? I'm just wondering, you know, what just went on. I really feel like eBay should have some sort of like intervention. Yeah. Is it 11 by 8 by 4, kind of? 12 by 7 by 3 and a half. Yep. <laughs> it's all the purses that we have over here. Yeah. I mean, we got some done. Right? Yep. No, my husband is just, he does not know what to do. <laughs> I cannot. Wait, didn't you hand me some things? I have an issue. Um, what part of it? That's a nice sure. bell, right? Yeah. I mean, we have the Tinkerbell. We have this root tie. What's wrong with this root tie? Uh, I don't think anything. You got this? What about this guy? What's wrong with him? Uh. <laughs> 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 okay, one, two, three. That's three. Now we have these dirty muppets. I mean, Kind of weird. <laughs> They're gross. They're actually not though. Beaker's pretty good. Right, let me see if I have anything over here. We're starting to list the like, you know, the dredges. Oh wait, did you want to list this G G G hat or what? I don't know. Oh, we have one more purse. <laughs> and this, we got stuff. All right, bring me the purse. That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get a baby right after this. How about this little? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you bought it. <laughs> you bought that. I did not buy that. Yeah, we go through cases of baby wipes. Anyone else? <laughs> Just us. <laughs> Okay. Cases, I tell you. What even is this hat? Eva? Fight Club. Is it? Do people actually have fight clubs? They do fight? No, it's for like, I think it's where they go watch fights. Uh, okay. And that's, that's, I think that's a, a boxer or a MMA. I think it's a boxer. Okay. <clears throat> I thought it was like Tyler Durden in real life. Not quite. Do you think people actually do that? Probably. Stoner conversations. 
All right. Oh, I have this bag I can clean. Might as well, because people are buying bags, right? If I'm just sitting here. Yeah. I could do a couple and get. Yeah. Come on. I just need all the baby wipes. Just clean this guy right on up while I chat it away over here. Let's just see what's happening. I said to you all the sack purse with the flip oversold before mine. We had a sack purse up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had a zipper on top and flipped over. Oh, that sack purse. Yeah, I got that in the bins. It was cute. Hey, MB. Hello. Oh, yeah. Get a few listening to them before bed. That's what we're here for. Your pre bed content. <laughs> I was looking at the Affliction shirt with the MMA auto. How did you find that one? So Dan owned that Affliction. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, the the autograph one. Yeah, I remember. I mean, it was when Rampage was fighting, like, back in the... When was that? When he was in his prime? Early 2000s, something? I don't know. I don't remember. But I bought it from some website that was doing the thing. He was a collector of all things. So, like, if he thought it was going to be worth something, he was a reseller before he knew he was a reseller. Because some of the things we've sold, he bought just to, like, sell later because they would be worth money. Isn't that true? Yeah, we were very few. I mean, you held on to it in the plastic and everything. Yeah, that, I mean, that specifically was funny. I'm going to hold on to this. People have accused us of it being fake, and Dan's like, but, bro, it was actually mine. Like, the one of the few things in our closet that we actually know where it came from. I mean, mostly, no. Yeah. Like, all website. You didn't get it off the street corner or anything. Excuse me while I clean out this first. Just dropping that on the ground. Yeah, those sack purses sell pretty well. If you can find the ones that kind of look like a hobo bag, you know, that don't look like a sack, I think they do better. Even though they don't sell for a lot, they do split pretty quickly. That's the only time I buy them, if they look like the brand hobo. But they're not, you know what I mean? Don't take it as gospel, though, because I know other people that sell, like, the actual sack ones, like, sack-looking ones, and they do well with them. I do not. So weird how what sells for one person might not for another. It's so strange to me. That's why I watch what sold videos. If I have any time on um, YouTube, I just watch what sold. This is very, very helpful to me to see what's selling at the right time for other people. Which is why that's the only thing we basically do anymore because it was like the most helpful kind of video. Some siren activity outside of our house. Always. Shield your dogs. I could clean the inside of this purse, like with um, you know, in the sink with some dawn, and it would get much cleaner. I'm just doing baby wipes because I don't think I'm ever gonna get it pristine because it has pen in it, and so I'd have to take some drastic measures. So I'm just cleaning the surface dirt off of it. It's just been sitting here. If I didn't clean it right now, it would never get listed. That's the truth right there. Yes, it is. Get in there. Watch, we won't sell another purse for a year. Just because we're listing <laughs> Is anybody else noticing any trends in what is selling for you? 
I'm asking for purely selfish reasons. <laughs> Back in. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, it is looking better. I don't know what's worse. No, we don't hold on to stuff to sell later. That is more investment like mentality, investment like mentality. We don't have that. We're like just with it. But I guess what you're saying is the stuff that Dan held on. He used to have that mentality. We do not prescribe to that anymore. Yep. We list anything and everything all the time. And if anybody would ask our recommendation, not that anyone cares, but we would recommend that to everyone. List it. You can't sell it. It's not listed. And um, people buy stuff all year long. It's crazy what we're selling in the middle of summer. It's crazy. I wouldn't believe it. If someone was like, you would, you know, I sell this, or I would be like, yeah, okay, whatever. No, we do. Like snow pants and stuff. Like, Christmas stuff, Christmas ornaments, all the stuff. <laughs> Kyle, wait, I'm confused. You guys sell stuff that you list? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. You know, on occasion, yeah. We're trying, good lord. Y'all want to talk some smack? Who wants to talk smack? Uh oh, uh oh, where's this going from? Tuesday smack down, Tuesday smack down, reseller smack hour. Uh oh. Let's do a it. poll. No, no, no. It's a oh, poll. Okay. I'm not going to talk to Smack. I'm going to have everybody else talk to Smack. Oh, right. Okay. It is a poll about the tornado. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is an ethics poll if you choose to participate. So, the man known as Harry Tornado went to the bins picked up an item that was new with tags and did a video and brought it back to the TJ Maxx from where he did not purchase it. I'm just giving you all the context. He purchased it at the Goodwill bins, returned it to the TJ Maxx for a $17 gift card. Do we think that this is fraudulent or a-okay? <laughs> Before I even finish, yeah, I saw the video. <laughs> Jackass comes in. Did I hear Smack Talk? <laughs> I'm here for you on a Tuesday. Smack Talk Tuesday, didn't you know? I'm just asking what we think. Just asking for opinions here, all right? I'm asking. I got my own opinions. Of course, I got opinions. I want to know your opinions. Kyle says genius content. Why? Because it gets everyone engaged. Yeah, okay. Fill up. Well, the title of the video, if I recall correctly, was something like, let's see if TJ Maxx honors its return policy. So I believe the return policy, I don't know, it was honored. Megan says it's stealing in her book. <laughs> Chagas refuses to waste a single brain cell. Got it. <laughs> 
well, I cannot stand him, but I don't really care if someone does that really. Okay. I'll make you have the receipt, which I'm assuming he didn't. He did not. Personally, I wouldn't do it. Another reseller said she was considering doing this at Walmart because of other reseller suggestions. I told her I loved her, but that's sketchy. She agreed. Hey, Karen. At least have proof of purchase. Right. So that is not something that he had. Okay, what are we doing here? What is this? That's the, the sports sack. Does it have a... Can you... Oh, uh, yeah. Give me one second. I have to mess with the photos for that. I didn't take them in square mode. Mm. Whoops. Whoops. Um, I agree with... I think Kyle said it's genius content. You know, I agree with that on the YouTube standpoint, but like, what do you want to be known for on YouTube? I want to be known as being a transparent, like trustworthy seller, not like someone that'll call the riff over doing something potentially sketchy. It's a gray area. Shady behavior, Disney chick, agreed. One time thing, but don't overdo it. <laughs> you get this once. Tracy says, if they don't require proof of purchase, I don't see the problem. And then Melissa brings up a point, though, if it, it's not new, though. Like, it's been done having gone through the bins. Like, through the bins. You know how good the bins can not be. The bins is nasty. Nasty. So I don't know. I don't know the condition of it. Like, could they put it back on the floor and sell it for full price? I having worked retail. Okay, let me just tell you a little story. You went story time. Story time. Story Tuesday. time. Story corner with Amy. Um, I worked at Kohl's when Kohl's first became like a store when it first opened in my city of Fredericksburg, Virginia, and I was 15 years old. It was my first job, and I was a cashier. And on the first day of training, they said, our policy is yes, we can. So if someone came into Kohl's, I don't know if it's still like this. I worked there for four years, and this is how it was from when I was 14 to when I was like 19. The policy was yes, we can. So they would come in. Okay? I'm not joking you. Some people were honest, and they came in, they went to return something after the 30 days or the 60 days or whatever the frick the receipt thing was. Did you look it up? Yeah, but your story time. Yeah, you can tell me I can still look it up. I can multitask. Oh, cool. I can't. I know. So just tell me what it was. And so <laughs> they would come in. Every single year at back to school. Striped Daniela crossbody. They would come in, these women. It was mostly women. It doesn't look like this. It does not, but that's so much more so because this one. Does it look like this one kind of? Mm, smaller. Yeah. And so here's what they would do. I'm still continuing story time. Can you find the right one, please? Just try again. Dash yourself off and try again. <laughs> <laughs> um. So every year, because I work the summers in between college. And every year, people would come in around July or August, and they would bring in Jansport backpacks that had been torn to shreds by their kids. And then they would say, I want to return this, and I would have to say, yes, we can. And so they got a brand new backpack for their kid every single year. And it was like the scam of all scams. This happened hundreds of times. Every summer, it would be like backpack season again. And they would tell us before our shift started, like, you're going to get a ton of them. You just have to take them back. Like, just don't fight with them. That's our policy. And it would be the same people over and over and over again. And then they would tell their friends and they would tell their friends. And this is the problem I have with Harry Tornado telling 300,000 followers. Because now 300,000 people are going to do that to what degree we don't know. Right? It could be... It could be fraudulent to the to the nines. They could start taking back wholesale stuff that they get a whole pallet of, and then have a ring of people that are taking it back and robbing, you know, the stores of which because that's what they were doing to Kohl's. I don't care about Kohl's, and I don't have any vested interest in their profits, but they were robbing the store. 
and it, it was a legal way of doing it and they didn't feel bad about it and they did it every single year hundreds i'm telling you i worked an eight hour shift i would probably take back 20 backpacks just in my cash register lane it was like this huge thing that everybody in fredericksburg did oh your kids need oh you just take them back to college you don't get a new backpack so they would buy them a backpack in like third grade and it would last them all the way through high school wow. yes so that's where I, when I watched that, that's how I felt like, okay, now you're telling, because in Fredericksburg, it kept spreading. And every year I worked at Kohl's, it got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And it was always about backpacks. It wasn't like jeans or anything like that. It was just always backpacks. And, um, I don't know. I don't know what was going to happen because of that. Let me finish reading your comments. Y'all. Oh, I rang one ten world. Tribute of anyone doing it. I give it zero fucks given. I see no problem if TJ Maxx says it's okay, then it's okay. I feel like abusing policies will just make it harder for everyone else doing honest things. That item will likely get marked down if it's not in season. I didn't watch the video, so I just an assumption. And I can only imagine that will turn into losses for the retailer if everyone abuses it. Yep. What's the difference between picking the bins and taking it to second time around or just selling it online? That's a good question. I don't know. That'll only result in the policy being changed, affecting people who actually did make the original purchase looking for a return. I agree with that, Jen. True story. I drove from Salem, Oregon to Sacramento with a dead alternator, exchanging my dead battery for a freshie at Home Depot every 100 miles. (laughs) Okay, but the battery was still usable. You didn't, like, crush the battery, right? No, no, man. Really? You crush it with no alternator, yeah. Kind of, oh no! I don't know, but that's funny. What Jenny Melissa said. Okay, I, I pretty think sure. Just try classic mini hobo. This will take. Am I spelling sack right? Is it a C? Not yeah, a K. Yeah, it's a C. That's fine. So does it have two little zippers on the front, or what? Um. No, it kind of looks like these look right here. It look like this. Yeah. It kind of looks like this one, right? Just the one single zipper. On yeah. The okay. Then, oh, yeah. Uh, then on the top. Right, 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 right. Classic hobo crossbite, but it's a mini. You think? It's just a little guy. Right, oh wait, look right here, right here. This is the same. Oh, there you go. But it's not the same shape. But it's Same the Jenny time. Indigo Stripe. I'm gonna do this. Mini Hobo. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. I'm make it up. Make it. Make it up. Cause we're not selling it as new. No. So a sports set, classic, small Jenny Indigo Stripe, Mini Hobo purse, handbag, travel. Okay, what's the number? Forty-five thirty. I'm ready for picks. Okay. Came back in the comments. Um, okay, so when I said Jansport, I meant any backpack that Coles carry. But yes, Jansport does have a lifetime guarantee. But when I was done with my shift, those bags went into the dumpster. They did not go back to Jansport to get any kind of... To, these women didn't even have to go through that effort. And yes, they do have a lifetime guarantee, but they won't replace... So here's what happened. I had a Jansport backpack, and of course, my mom went through the whole, like, I'll mail it back to the company, and she did. And so we had written with, um, what do we call it? Remember whiteout pens? Everybody signed my backpack. And so they fixed the strap and mailed back my ass, like, whiteout pen backpack. They don't give you a new one. Well, they didn't when I was in middle school, when my mom mailed it in. Okay? So they do do that, but you don't get a fresh backpack. These kids were getting brand new backpacks every single year. I know that I'm speaking my truth. Like, I watched it happen. And they did, I mean, people abuse the return policies for other things, but the backpack thing was a huge scam. Huge. Like, if YouTube would have existed at the time, I would have been like, who did a YouTube video on this? Who did a TikTok on this? Because it was viral. It went, like, neighborhood viral. How would you feel if the company says they sell my their products and if it's effective even you? Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. Like Red Wing does that. Even Jansport. Lululemon will fix your pants. I'm totally down with that. When I sent my daughter's back. 
and and there is stuff that we resell that we do get fixed. Like there's we, a difference between going to the manufacturer and going to Kohl's. Dan says there's a difference between going to the manufacturer and going to Kohl's because I guess he's meaning the manufacturer standing up for its product. Kohl's is just like a reseller of the product. Like why should they have to take that financial hit, right? And nothing was wrong with the backpacks. They just had wear. Like they weren't bringing them back because they had broken. They were just like, yeah, I didn't, this isn't the right color for me. And we couldn't do anything. Battery is usable, just dead. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> Jen says, I think there's a difference between bringing it back to the store and selling it online in the store. Your assumption is that new versus online, you're going to give a specific description of the condition per listing. I agree with that. Aren't you considering sending in some boots for repair? Yeah. Exactly right. We are not the original owner of the Red Wings, and we are considering getting them repaired. That is 100% true. So I'm asking you guys, is that wrong? Is that right? Is that, you know what I mean? I'm assuming we're going to have to pay for this repair. That's what I'm assuming. Because at Lululemon, we have to pay for these, you know, they have a little blowout. you got to pay like five bucks or something to get fixed. I'm not sure if it's free at Red Wings or not. I can't imagine it being free. You can't just wear a lot of pair of boots and get them free. But I can imagine them saying, we'll support you. You know what I mean? We'll fix these for you. I'm sure it's like, because like when my sewing machine breaks, I have to pay for it. Even though there's a lifetime warranty, I still have to pay for it. I do a $20 for a service call at least. So I don't know. We've never gotten a fix. We like haven't actually gone through that process, but I would just be interested to know. Tommy says, first, pro hi, Tommy. I haven't seen you. First problem is Mr. and Mrs. Harry T Tomato. Here we go. Harry Tomato. Shouldn't be allowed to conceive. <laughs> I, if I had read that ahead of time, I wouldn't have read that loud. <laughs> that was the first problem. First problem. <laughs> Second problem is watching Little Tomato. There's a Little Tomato? Oh, no, we're not taking advice from him. We're, we're discussing the fact of whether it was moral or amoral. And then Kyle brought up a point that was a genius YouTube move. Hey, Randy. Oh, bad storms. Oh, no. I'm so far behind in these comments. <laughs> I'm sure the abuse and returns is also from the retailers taking your ID, running it through the that's, system. I was, a, I was about to say, that's exactly why retailers started doing that. Yep, I got kicked out of Sephora for my own, y'all. So you return something without a receipt like three times. And then no, like, no, this is what happened. So I worked at Sephora for eight years. And then when I got to Dallas, I had a bunch of stuff that I had been meaning to take back. But we took a road trip to Dallas because I moved here. And so I brought it back and it was in three different purchases. And the person at the counter was like, oh, I'll just do this as store credit because I was going to buy some new things. I'll just do it as store credit so I can just do it all in one instead of just doing each in individual receipt. It banned me from returning to Sephora for five years. <laughs> so I no longer shop at Sephora ever because I can't return any. Well, it's probably been more than five years now. Yeah. But just it just started being five years because the guy didn't want to. I had all three. So he, re he did the whole thing as a one big. Because what happened is I had three different receipts for just three items. That one sucks. receipt for each item. Yeah. And then I had a big like perfume or something I was getting that would cover the whole cost. Yeah. And so he was like, oh, I'll just do store credit and you can buy this perfume with it, which made sense. It sure did. But he didn't know I was about to get banned from Sephora where I worked for eight years. I was banned from my own employment. <laughs> you get out of here. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Maybe that's why they never call me back. Maybe. Man. Oh, no. She's on the phone list. Scammer. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, really, they were buying oh, other items. Son of a. Um. They were buying backpacks for their kids sometimes, so they would just get another backpack. And sometimes they would just get the gift card and go buy school clothes or whatever. I don't know what they were buying. So they were returning a Jansport backpack, and we had to give them the credit that a Jansport was worth at that time. Well, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Patagonia knows people buy secondhand and get repaired that I've seen. We've never tried Patagonia getting anything repaired. Because we just sell it like flawed and assume people will go get it repaired. I don't know. But again, this guy wasn't selling something that was damaged. So I guess my backpack example is a little bit, I was just using it as an example of how people can like overdo it and commit fraud year after year after year. And then we all pay for it because, you know, the store raises their prices or you get banned from returns like I did or whatever. I don't know. 
I'm just posing the questions. I don't actually have an answer here. I'm, I'm legitimately asking. It's all Harry's fault. He didn't do it for YouTube. He's been scamming since too. This is Tommy. <laughs> Wait, I gotta go back. I missed some comments. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, Patagonia. If you are so broke, you have to buy rent and return items. You have failed at life and need another job. He didn't do it for YouTube. He has been scamming since day one. He is religious. Stealing is part of the gig. They think they are entitled to steal and just repent on Sunday. I don't. I don't know. I know a lot of people that don't steal that are religious. I know a lot of people that do that. <laughs> it just depends on your character, I think. I don't know if it's a, you know, I don't know. Because on a technicality, I'm not a, I'm a rules breaker. And I don't know if you guys know that about me. My husband is a rules follower and I'm a breaker. And so we get into kind of like theoretical discussions like this all the time. Where we're like, no, you can't do that. And I'm like, yes, you can. Because I feel like maybe I would be on that side where I'd be like, it has a tag, it's fine. But then again, I'd probably be like, no, we didn't buy this. I don't know. I definitely, okay, let me just be honest. I definitely wouldn't make a YouTube video about it. <laughs> you know, a controversial thing like that where I'm like, might be halfway in the wrong. I definitely wouldn't make a video about it. But I can't imagine what I would do, especially something that was $17. There's no way I would take it back to TJ. No way, no way. For that little bit of money, I just don't think I would. So that bag, you think you can go priority? Um, yeah, I, so. I need the measurements on it. Oh, you have them here. What does it say? 9 to 20? 9 to 20? What does that mean? 9 by 20? Oh, oh is that? Yeah. What? Length 9 to 20? What? The strap. This drop. It's adjustable. Well, you didn't put that. That's weird. Very strange. Sorry, I was just, I mean, I'm just putting that maybe for me or for you if you ask me. Yeah. Well, if they ask, then we'll just refer to the picture. Randy, I think that was T.S. Colin. I believe it hit Myrtle. Oh, Tropical Storm. I believe it hit Myrtle Beach on the 4th really bad. At least that's what the video I saw. Yeah, Fiona, my parents didn't really mention it. I don't know. I heard that they had, like, a storm pop up. If they were smart, they could go to Cole's dumpster every night, get the backpacks back, return it again for more storage credit. Oh, my God, Matt. <laughs> See, now that's, that's where I have the issue is that Homeboy has 300,000 subscribers and they're going to repeat this. At least, yeah. you know, a bunch of them are going to repeat it and then it becomes a problem. Right. Because he's basically encouraging it. And so if Matt made a YouTube video about going to the Coles dumpster and he had 300,000 followers, then everyone will go to the Coles dumpster and repeat, rinse and repeat. And then what? Right? Like Coles would be, they'd have to do a huge policy change. And then when I want to go return my Nana's bracelet that was too big for her wrist, I can't. I'm all pissy about this. That was not a real thing that happened. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> when you do live streams, begging for money for your, for your mailman. What? Tell everyone how much you made. Collect 700 from your viewers for your mailman. Make a video giving the mailman 40 upon... No, 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 no. Oh, that no. did not happen. What? 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 That can't have happened. Hey, Chris, she says, sorry, I'm late. Stop it. Nobody's ever late. You're never late. All right. We'll be late. Can I send you a picture of this thing? I don't even know what this is. This, this is, is the Roots. Hat. Roots. The Roots hat. Hat. What do I call it? Yeah. What do you call it? What do you call it? Colorado people, what do you call the hats with the ear things and the tassels? Beanie? Tassel? Then, pom pom on top. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Found it. I just didn't know if it had a different kind of name. A 
I call it spin doctors. Oh, Matt, look right here. Look right here. Vintage rug rack Tommy Tassel beanie. Oh, man. You need this. It's already sold. You can't get it from, yes. from these people. They already sold it. But I'm just telling you, it's out in the universe. It exists. It's waiting on you. All right, I'm going to copy, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, why not, right? I was raised to look at it like this. How much money is your character worth? Five, seventeen, five hundred. My character has no price tag. Amen, sister. That's how I feel. Like, can you sleep at night? Or are you like right? No, and then, I mean, at, at from a retailer from a retail perspective, like it's they would look at it the same way. Like you didn't buy it from the store. They that's why there's a return period also mm -hmm. supposed to be. Like, what's the difference between buying it at the bins and, like, shoplifting it from the store and then returning it without a receipt for store credit? That, right. That's how, that's how the retailer would look at it. Right. And they used to do that at Kohl's. In yeah. the genius department, they would go take LEI jeans and oh, bring yeah. them right to the register. Yep. And I would have to give them a gift card, and they'd go buy the same LEI jeans that they just returned to me. <laughs> and I'm like, really? But I had to. Yeah. I'm going to fight him. Our policy was, yes, we can. Literally, before Obama. <laughs> I stole it from Coles. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. Is it fur-lined or is it like fleece-lined? It looks like fleece-lined. Polyester. Yeah, fleece. Okay, what's the number? Fifty-five, sixty-seven. We are mad. <laughs> I would hope that if we did a video like that, someone would call us out. But our our subscribers, they don't care. They call us out for everything. Get yeah. quieter tape. We're like, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I can't imagine if we went and did some shady ish. People would be going crazy on us. Yeah. You're better than this. <laughs> I haven't looked at his comments to be honest. I wonder what they say. Comments have been disabled for this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see what people are saying. Amanda, are we still talking about Harry Tomato? <laughs> That return policy girl broke back a really. Hold on, Fiona. I'm trying to figure out what she's saying here. Brought back. Brought back. I know. Probably. But a really posh frock on the Sunday after prom and said it didn't fit. Probably. She had altered by hand sewing the excess material and stuff. No, no. No. No, 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 no. It's absolutely having between him and a lot of Josh. It's on their channels from way back. Christmas time. I can't. There's another channel? I don't want to know. I'm sure he, if he had a brick and mortar store and the reverse was happening to him, would likely stale or out of season inventory, he wouldn't feel so great giving that $19 to everyone who walked in the store to see that. Totally, totally, Jen. What I find more problematic is selling items for $100 or more that his viewers literally watched him pull off the bins for a dollar. For no other reason than he's coming on YouTube and Christian. I don't. I didn't know. I didn't know about his religion, y'all. I mean, no See, judgment. I just didn't know that was a big part of who he was. I don't watch his videos enough. I'm sorry. Maybe he's just leaning into that. I don't know. Should put this tag here. Grand baby could do better. <laughs> I refused and called the supervisor over. She said, refund it. I said, no, and I'm not signing the papers. You sign it. Made me so damn mad. I feel this. I even get annoyed when people buy things to sell with the intent to return in the return window if it doesn't sell. Technically, it's okay, but it seems sketchy again. As someone who does this as part of my job, I agree with that. Um, Melissa, I agree. I have to buy stuff all the time for costumes. It's called buying the spread. And so... For example, if I have an actor with an 11 size foot, I have to go to the store and buy a, particularly in an equity show, I have to buy a 10 and a half and 11 and 11 and a half. 
knowing that it's going to go back. But I make sure that that actor does not wear it, does not, you know, doesn't wear it on stage or anything, just in the dressing room so that they are returned in completely new condition. But not all costume designers do that. And sometimes Mm -hmm. when you're buying the spread, you have to buy it for like, 20 or 30 or 40 people so you were coming out of that store with like 80 to 120 pairs of shoes it's nuts Whew. like for a big musical mm-hmm. and then they figure out that they it, it's just a little it's just rubbing on my foot a little bit maybe 11 and a half would be better and you're like i'm sorry what and so then you're stuck with two pairs of shoes because you can't return the ones that they did a whole rehearsal in that's my life but i don't return them and other people would but i don't I cut corners other places in the show or I resell them myself. I take, that's what, that's why I'm not doing costumes anymore because a lot of stuff, you know, when you hear me, when we sell something, I'm like, Oh, it was a costume. It's because I couldn't afford it in my budget for the return and they wore it on stage. And so we resell it to get some money back, but never do we get retail value. And so I'm actually losing money doing costumes. That's why I don't do it anymore. Okay. Bye. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the worst. The worst. Should I put the beanie and put the hats? But you just gave me a number. Do you want me to put hats? Yeah, let me change it. Capitalize the L in the title. Oh, you're right. God, thanks, Matt. Saved my life. Madden. Beanie. Why is it spelled like this? This is how you spell beanie, right? It's an A. Do you guys spell beanie with two E's? Because I do not. Maybe that's why his beanie hasn't sold. <laughs> <It's higher. laughs> I'm going to try 26.95 now that I spelled it correctly. Heathen. He has been feeling like I always spelled it wrong my whole life. You spell it E E? No, E A. Yeah, I spell it E A too. I've had my sketchy moments buying liquidation, but only did it once. We got a shop back that had an obvious manufacturer defect, so we sent it back to the company telling them how we got it, and they sent us news. Okay, Amanda. My husband, Dan, this guy right here, Hi. he is the king of getting manufacturers to replace things that are broken on things that we get at the thrift store. Happens all the time. But I think what Dan's point was is we're getting it from the manufacturer who should guarantee their product. Right. Their product was... The product he returned was not... As far as I can tell, other than it had been through the bins, right. it was not defective. Right. I'm not trying to take that big ass Dyson back to Walmart and be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has no problem contacting Dyson and being like, I need this. Zero issues contacting Dyson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't take it back to Walmart. <laughs> right. It's like, I got this as a gift and it's not working. He wouldn't do that. He doesn't lie ever. They'll ask him where he got it and he's like, I got a second hand. It doesn't work. And nine out of ten times, they replace it for free, whatever the part is or whatever. Like we did with the coffee makers, those big industrial coffee makers. He called up the thing. He went through like three different people, and they finally sent us three drip trays free of charge. (laughs) And they didn't have to do that because there was nothing defective. He was literally trying to pay for them. And then the guy was just like, oh, I just gave them to you. Okay. Yeah. So what's the next thing? I think I have a draft for you. That's a GGG head. GGG. I think I have the draft. So. Not exactly. We buy undervalued items and bring them to the market where we can realize our value. We are not inflating. We got a lot We are not inflating perceived value based on social media, clout, and dogma. Ooh, that's a good point. That's a good point. For his Patreon, he started and promised the money back guarantee of not happy with his eBay advice, but wouldn't give the money back when asked. What? Like it. No. What? You've got to be kidding. After enough complaints, he quit Patreon. Over. How come this stuff isn't out there? I had no idea about any of these things. I mean, I'm not, I guess maybe it is out there and I just don't follow. I don't know. I can see that. This is a reseller who buys things from Marshalls, who lists it and then returns it if it doesn't sell in a month. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. But I think that's different, Melissa. If they don't sell in a month, that's still in season technically for them. Unless it was like red tag or yellow tag, I guess that isn't out of season. I don't know. I mean, who knows what season that was from? It was from a bin. 
I don't know. I don't care. It was seventeen dollars. I really don't care. I'm just having a discussion. I really do not care what this man does with his bins. I just want you guys to know that I do not care. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty yeah. bucks, finger. Finger. <laughs> we love saying finger. It's our favorite thing. <laughs> it's our favorite thing ever. <laughs> The problem is also people who idolize someone and spend that much on the item just because X is presenting it to them. However, is all you know what we should watch when it is. I could never imagine some of you are being like, "You guys are so cool. I'm going to buy stuff from your store just because." Like overpaying is what he's talking about. Yeah, for there that. are people that buy stuff from our store, which I'm eternally grateful for. But I think that that's at a at a fair price. Right. I wasn't trying to. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, if if we were. Watching someone and getting some value out of it, I would buy stuff at a fair price for them. But right. I wouldn't pay a hundred dollars for like a twenty dollar thing no. just because no. of idolatry. No. No. <laughs> like that's what they're saying on whatnot. They're pricing it like people are bidding uh, up. Yeah, that's silly. We don't know what we're talking about. We've never watched whatnot, but no, I think yeah. that's what they're saying. It's people just because it's him. They're paying more. He's just picking random things out of the bin, gotcha. and people are just throwing money at him for whatever it is no, that's, no. from the bin. I'm sending pictures. Okay. I could just be making excuses though, so call me out if you need to. <clears throat> Tommy, he'll be the first one. He's <laughs> already typing. I know. Oh, that's funny. I'm Tom Hanks meme. <laughs> 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 Let's see. All right. GGG Fight Club. Fight Club. First rule, God. Yeah, I know. I knew oh. a stupid hat. You shouldn't talk about it. Is it new without tags or like what is it? Is it used? No, I'm pretty sure it's a new without tags. What's the number? Oh, it's in hats, huh? Hats. Hats. All caps. Okay, let me catch up here. <coughs> the problem is also with the people who. Oh, I read that. Taking off that hat, I have an owl one I wear sometimes. Oh, the thingy? Yeah, I love those. Beanies and weenies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. My beef is the exploitation of a captive audience. Nothing wrong with making a profit, and technically nothing wrong with inflating value. Yeah, that's true. I think that, I feel like that kind of about whatnot in general. I need to watch it before I comment anymore. I've already said too much. Need it to picture time. Almost complete lessons! Yeah, Amanda! Even funnier is when the hubs borrows it to go to work. Yes. Pictures, please. You can't put everything on discrimination of the viewer, especially when the medium is by nature designed to sculpt perception. If you can alter perception, you can alter decisions. Uh, so Jackass Retro, you sound like you have a journalism background, because I do, and um, you know, broadcast journalism background. And we were always talking about captive audience. You can't look away. You can't. You can change the channel, and that's if you're in charge. But if you're captive, you can't. You can't look away. You can't turn your ears off. And there's a certain responsibility that comes with that captive audience. And you have to. That's what I've always learned in school growing up with that background in training. So we weren't allowed to do anything in broadcast. Around. There, you can get a lot with a lot, get away with a lot more in print than you can on broadcast because of the captive audience rule. That's what it sounds like to me that you have a background in, and I respect that. Whoops, 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 whoops. Almost messed up. Read these out loud because make it's kids. I remember my kids' names. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's Amanda. You and Dan are on the same team. 100% not returning to a distributor, only to the manufacturer. I've never returned anything. I never have stuff I spent. I have stuff I spent $500 on and did not like it and just kept it. That's my fault. Why would I return something that's my fault? Now, if it breaks, that's different. I think you and Dan are on the same team, too, Randy. If it's broken, that's different. But returning something for store credit so you can get something else is a little, a little different. Okay. <laughs> At a fair market value price, absolutely. And even better if it's supporting someone you want to support. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. People are deliberately overpaying because of who is selling it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Matt, you didn't try to shove that sweet rug rods jacket down my throat. I saw it in one of your videos, and it was still in your store and my size for a fair price, so I bought it. <laughs> Tell Tracy about that, Matt. She told us not to buy it. Well, I wouldn't have bought it anyway, but she told Dan not to buy it, and he was like, oh, no, I'm, I'm buying, buying it. it. <laughs> Tracy was like, don't get that, and Dan was like, oh, oh, it's coming home. <laughs> So you're welcome, Matt. You're welcome for Dan's tenacity. <laughs> she was right, though. She, he thought it was worth, like, hundreds of dollars, and it wasn't. So he priced it what it was worth, but... So she was right. Yeah. But he knew that someone like Matt needed that jacket. <laughs> he was performing a public service. I think he said that to me when he showed it to me. He was like, someone needs this. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. Heinous torpedo. Oh my Heinous god. torpedo. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, he's probably watching this with popcorn. He's not the only one who does it or benefits. There's a lot of it on one You know what? We need to take a whatnot day and like just watch it. Yeah. Can we do reactions on a live? That'd be fun. That would be fun. Everybody could chime in. I haven't watched whatnot either. I can actually see being the case over there. I think one eye is just a gimmick, and I don't say that because they will not let me in. <laughs> I just think it's a gimmick, but who knows? Maybe it's not. Oh, I'm sorry, Randy. Yeah. Now you guys didn't ask for money or do Patreons or membership. Not yet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Play the long game. Play sure, the so long I game. Viewers for money, big mistake. I just don't understand. This is what I don't understand. How resellers in a hustle, literally we're called the hustle couple, and so are everybody else that's doing this job. We're hustling. Most people have two jobs. We're hustling. How can you ask for money from other people that are hustling? Right. I don't get it. If you're buying something from someone's store and you're getting something in return and you're going to use that or something that you need, fine. It's a way of supporting someone and you are going to buy it anyway. But literally just asking for money from people who are trying to make money, like... <laughs> I cannot wrap my head around it. Like the Patreon or like you were saying, the GoFundMe for the mailman or whatever. Like, what? That money comes from YouTube. So we get $200 a month from YouTube. It's not a lot, but he has 300,000 followers. 200 bucks. And yes. we have, th so do the math. We have 3,000 and he has 300,000 and we get $200 a month. Somebody do the X, software X. Right. How much is he getting a month? In YouTube money. Like, I can't even, I can't do the math in my head, but it's a lot, enough to pay the mailman. Oh, yeah. I don't even know you don't, you don't need to go phone me to pay the mailman. Why are you going to pay the mailman? Why, why are you paying the mailman? Why are you paying the mailman? Why? I don't know. I, I can't figure that part out. Okay, hold on. Um, You're a little bigger. A little bit of journalism, but a lifelong student of media literacy. Awesome. We're on the same page. We, we speak that language. I totally got it. You saw I saw right through it, because whenever anybody starts talking to me about those terminologies it speaks right to my heart because i i've studied it i know it i believe it all that kind of thing right tomato what is his name is his name tomato <laughs> yeah that's right look mad in all caps also a couple ebay camp coming soon y'all it would be the most stoner camp ever <laughs> there would be no ebay happening we None. would be sitting around giggling i can't i can't this is It'd be like that new dumb commercial, yo, camping buddy. Which one? The one where you're like, I can't drive? The, yeah. <laughs> the one where they all get in and nobody's behind the wheel. I hate it. It's such a dumb commercial, but they play it every four seconds. Okay. I'll do his giveaways to get more of his items on whatnot. <laughs> Saying you have a chance to win an expensive item if you... Per oh, that's oh. the oldest trick in the book. I just looked. I deleted it. I just looked. I deleted it. But I think he has it on his phone. Oh, oh the picture of the owl hat. I have to see it. Yes, but what not pays him, Rally Roots and others for their giveaways. 
I can't take it. No. All I know about is the two hundred dollars you get for signing people up. I didn't know that they had sponsorships. Oh. Without Matt, you would still have that jacket. That is true, Tracy. But <laughs> Matt needed it. And Dan knew it. They have a, like a cosmic connection. Dan what, knew. What did I know? You knew that Matt needed that jacket. I did. You didn't know it was Matt. No. But you like felt it in the universe. <laughs> 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 Tommy said someone who doesn't go to Burlington needs that jacket on eBay. Okay, I just want you guys to know, but the one with Chucky on the back was rare. It I'm was. not kidding. Everyone <laughs> this one had Chucky. It was way better than your Burlington. It may have had Chucky at Burlington, but not all Burlington. Oh, that, that's great. Great idea, Jen. What? Dan drunk girl reactions to whatnots. <laughs> yeah, I should, no, you should go away. You should be dumb. I just want to give away. Stop it. <laughs> I use here for your free stuff. <laughs> okay, Randy did the math. Thank you. Twelve thousand a month from YouTube. I'm guessing Damn. that's saying if it's incremental, it might be exponential. It might be more than that. Could be. Because we're assuming that for every three hundred you're making two hundred for every three thousand you're making two hundred dollars. That's an assumption. Totally. We, we have no way of knowing. But it could be exponentially more than that. I'm just saying, with 300,000 followers, you know how things multiply? Like when you get up past the 100,000, maybe it's like mm -hmm. double, double yep. time, yep. triple time. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, audience and sponsors. You need an Italian mother to say, who are you giving money to? <laughs> I know, right? No, I Hi, eBay camp. <laughs> It'd be like anti-eBay camp. It'd be like... Sit around and do nothing camp. I'm disgusted by people asking viewers to come support them on whatnot. You don't have to buy. Just hang out. Retailers have a shopping addiction they can't control. <laughs> you right, Tracy. We all we all need rehab. We ain't need a whatnot. We need a rehab. That's what we need, not eBay camp. We need eBay re rehab. We're going to be like, sit your ass here for four <laughs> days. No thrifting. <laughs> right. You sit down here. Sure. We're going to have a campfire. We're going to cook some hot dogs. And we're going to watch Gossip Girl. That's it. <laughs> Something. Oh, Tim's here. Hi. I watched twice. Nothing to learn there. <laughs> <laughs> I think why not is a new version of Q QVC. Uh-huh. Some will end up, you know, like at estate sales when you go and like the woman has all QVC kitchen yep. Yep. and closet they had an addiction yep mm -hmm. some will end up with a house full of whatnot auctions for an estate sale oh gosh that's sad that makes me sad he makes decent money but not nearly as much if he had actually learned to resell and use <laughs> youtube to propel that <laughs> people like craig blue Hunter did it the right way without scamming viewers i need to watch craig i've never watched that channel he makes around 1K per video. Wow. Yeah, man. Are they like live shopping at the flea market videos? We can't do those. We suck at them. <laughs> it's $100 for 10,000 views. Okay, so it doesn't matter about subscribers, but more subscribers, you have the chance to get more viewers. More views, yeah. So it's $100 per 10,000 views. I wonder how much his latest video has. I'm just wondering. Sneaks what, away to source on Goodwill. <laughs> Invented. Uh, addiction. Addictive behavior. You assume he's making just $9 and he gets about 30. Oh my God. I don't think he gets 300,000 views on average. So that's, so that's like, that. I mean, that $100 per 10,000 views, that breaks down into a cent per view. Penny per view. Wow. Penny for your thoughts. All right, what are we doing? What's Basically. This? this is Lisa from... Gus Bard and Lisa. Is there a draft for this? There may be. Just... There might not be, though, because it's a pretty big pinger. It's a pinger. We're yeah. listening to pinger. All right, yeah. let's end the night on a pinger. We're in our last one, so guys, prepare to report back what you got done with all of the gossip going on. Lisa, what? Frank? Gus Bard. Yes. G A S P A R D. Bard. Et E T. Lisa. Oh, guest part at Lisa. Uh -huh. okay. And then what? Uh, plush. plush. Oh. 2009. But like, what is it? Well, it's a dog. Oh, it's a dog. White dog. White dog with a red scarf. 
Fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks, little man. <laughs> Matt, finish that line. No. All right. Oh, this one went for sixteen. Is it sitting? Is it two thousand four, two thousand seven? Two thousand nine. Oh, two thousand nine. Here we go. Fifteen dollars. Wow. Why do they charge eight dollars to ship? Oh, it's from Thailand. I if I can copy that. Two thousand nine. So there's different. Okay, people are answering in all caps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat it because I'm respectful of Megan's uh, children. Love you guys. <laughs> I'm <into> the best. <laughs> Yelling. <laughs> There's no other way to do that. And everybody in their head right now is like, oh, my jungle love. <laughs> five inches on it? What? Yeah, five? it's a little guy. He's just a little guy. Exactly. Oh my god, Matt is screaming. Everybody's <laughs> screaming. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why we need an eBay camp. <laughs> What's, okay, this is Z. Yeah, it's going to Z. I think Z's pretty much full up. We're about to go to AA. Dan <laughs> <laughs> trying to put me in AA. <laughs> Whoops. He's trying to put me in AA. He just did. <laughs> Must have been a pinger. <laughs> Could be worse. All right, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, now they're singing. Everyone's singing. Jungle Love. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is the med note. Hey, hey, yo. Your mom. It's nay on the. It's one. <laughs> it's one. Dan gets one. <laughs> hey, <you're> one. <clears throat> You need dolphin sounds before eBay can't, first before eBay can't. What are you talking about, dolphin sounds? What does this mean? We want an anti eBay camp. We want the sit your ass, oh, sorry, sit your, I said sorry. <laughs> we want to sit your butt right here. Don't go sourcing and enjoy yourself and laugh and eat lots of food and stuff. Camp. <laughs> That's what we want. We want friends. Punch and pie. Punch and pie. Mm, pie. Dan makes a heck of a cheesecake. I'm going to tell you what. Mm. That's right. Punch and cheesecake. Are you listed? Boom. Yeah, I'm going to import. While okay. We catch up with the folk. All right. We'll see what they're saying. There's lots of dolphin. Lots of pie. dolphin emojis going on. Then you got four listed, two real listed, and six crossbow listed. That's amazing. I bet you one of them is going to sell. Like See, the kids are in bed. Megan said, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Dan. <laughs> Megan got four listed, two relisted, and six cross posted. Dolphin sounds like like snowflake. That's not a snowflake. Okay. okay. Yeah, exactly right. Why dolphin sounds? What's that have to do with eBay? I'm just I don't kidding. know. Amanda loves that movie. Same. And play Princess. <laughs> Obviously. Oh my god. That's how Dan and I like met was over Ace Ventura quotes and Tommy Boy. We were like, okay, this is gonna work out. Yeah. Both of us know both movies front to back and a lot of other movies, but mainly those two. Okay. It's the worst when you have movie quotes and your significant other does not know what you're talking about. Right, you were just like, what? And you like make a, a zinger like right at the perfect time. Like I do it, and Dan drops to his knees sometimes. <laughs> He'll be in the middle of the story. He'll just like fall out because it's so perfect. Like at the you know the timing. <laughs> the other night you did it on here when I was like, "Is it number one or number two? He lost it. He, like fell out in into the office floor. <laughs> uh... mm. Let me see here what's happening here. 
Now she's wanting to be fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to tell us how you really felt about it? Uh. Tommy's on fire tonight. Oh my god, turd, stop. <laughs> Don't be mean. Don't be cruel. No cruelties. Camp high. <laughs> we need to make a, a series on this. I do not partake in the 420s. I just drink the champagne, so I'll be Camp Bubbly. Camp Bubblies. Mm -hmm. He'd be there. He'd be aight. Six listings done, Amanda. All right. All right. Yes. And you said you weren't going to get any done. See? There you go. You did it. <laughs> stop drinking. Yeah, they stop. Don't be cool. Don't be cool. I have a great, like, a lot of gray hairs coming in here. I don't talk about them behind my back. Look at that one. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Peeking through. <laughs> now you guys are going to have a YouTube about it. <laughs> Somebody's taking screenshots right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what our camp is going to be about, you see. Yeah, exactly. We right. So we're going to do two weeks before camp. I'm making this up right now. <laughs> where we all list an extra two things so that we can launch drafts while we're at camp. There we go. So we don't have to eBay <laughs> at eBay camp. <laughs> Shooter! <laughs> <laughs> but you can tell people you're going to professional development when really you're relaxing. Exactly. Exactly. It's a very good idea. And you can write it off as professional development because that's part of your development is work-life balance. Oh, nicely played. I like it. Got you on a technicality. Right. See, Fiona's in. Everybody's in. Oh my god, Tracy's gonna sneak out to go sourcing. <laughs> no, Tracy, no. She's sneaking out of camp. What happened to Tracy? <laughs> she comes back loaded down. Right. Hey guys. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> Danica's coming by <laughs> on the golf cart to get her. <laughs> I just imagine we all have golf carts. Oh, that'd be fun. And they end up taking the golf cart and there's stuff strapped to the top of it. <laughs> I can see it. Totally. <laughs> Ikea bags flapping in the breeze. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm right. I can't. Yeah. Yo, why do people do that? on Posh yes, Monday. Yes, you got something? I didn't think we sold anything. Hold on, let me check. Let me just check. That's not an invitation, y'all. I'm just actually checking. Oh, we got an offer. We did get an offer. Hey, we got an offer on eBay, too. I know. So I saw that. That was the one we got offered. Oh, okay, okay. Ten bucks for these pants. Uh, I, think, I think they're worth more than that, to be honest. But I might just sell them. That's how I am these days. That's how I am. Send me your half price offer. I'll, you know. I think that's the only one we got. Nice. Exactly. Fiona, golf cart polo. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, listen to the song. I got a golf cart. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's not as good as I'm going to stuff your weave off. <laughs> They're both pretty good. I don't see. I don't watch any of this stuff. I'm just like, yeah. I'm not trying to be the drama channel, but I'm enthralled by it. You just, <laughs> you know what the issue is? I don't have time to watch it. Yeah. I watch maybe two videos at night, maybe, and maybe one in the morning. And right now, James is getting top billing in my video queue because he shows me what's selling. And there you go. It's helpful, right? And then I watch people's hauls. Sometimes that's helpful if they have comps. If they don't have comps, I turn them off because I don't care. I don't care what you bought if you don't tell me what it's worth. I don't care what you think it's worth. I'm just venting now. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go. And that's new. <laughs> that's new for me. It didn't used to bother me, and it bothers me now. Because I realized, now that I'm better at reselling, that what they're picking up is not good. And that they're telling other people to pick it up. Mm-hmm. True. But they don't know that it's not good, and so I'm not going to waste my time watching people that are buying things that are not good and convincing other people to also buy things that are not good. So, I haven't been watching hauls recently. Uh, I think I've just been watching What's Sold. I watch Gretchen's What's Sold. No, Amanda, that is not a scam. People actually do that. <laughs> do what? Sell farts in jars. Oh, yeah, this girl from 90 Day Fiance. She made, like, a lot of money doing that. Yeah. People are weird. Yeah, yeah, that's just blatant, blatantly false. 
Wow, anything to make YouTube work. I mean, there's like a used panties market. If you're if you're if you're claiming anywhere close, if you're claiming more than seventy five percent of a ratio, like profit to sales, you, something's wrong with your math. There's um, just there's just no way. I would. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say something bold here. Uh oh, here we go. We literally show every single cent that we've spent. And I think we have some of the lowest cost of goods in the game right now. We're under four dollars for the year, average cost of goods. Are we? We are all yeah. I and think we're we slightly over. Always. Like thirty cents, I think. Okay. I've been coming at me with thirty cents. Hey. Just trying to always. Be <laughs> when you look at our numbers and I show the yearly number, right now we have sixty three thousand dollars in profit. I mean in sales in 36 of that is profit. <clears throat> yeah. So that get I mean that gap's pretty big. But that's that's where it's got to be when you're paying I don't get it. There's no way. Yeah. Because our cost of goods could not be lower for the the things that we're selling. If we were going to the bins every single day, it still would be that high because of shoes. Yeah. Like literally our cost of goods have never been this low and it's still almost a 50% cut. When all said and done. I don't get it. Yeah. And if somebody isn't doing that, they're not taking into account all the stuff that goes into it. That's crazy. That's crazy. I can't. It makes me mad. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's that's about average, fifty to sixty percent. I mean, and this is the best year we've ever had, as far as that ratio, because our cost of goods when we were doing wholesale or whatever was way higher. Not way; it was like five bucks, but still, it adds up. It does. Yeah, if you're sourcing on high bid, there's no way. There's no way. No. The only way. reason our thing was up last year, our cost of goods were up. Was so because we sourced on high bid. <laughs> freaking oxygen machine. <laughs> uh, His five hundred dollar oxygen machine added a dollar to like half our sales. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. He literally spent fifteen hundred dollars on high bid. I was like, you did what? Sorry. I spent twelve hundred dollars on an auction. That is true. But I parlayed that out to you guys. Thank you very much for taking that off my hands. Because we had we do, I overdid it. Yeah. But hopefully you were able to get some shipping supplies you could use at a price that was we yeah. tried to comp it cheaper online and we <laughs> it's it's priced rough. It cheaper than we you could get it online. A little bit, yeah. That's what we did. Yep. We and like, and oh. Amanda, I'm trying to figure out your box bundle shipping situation. I'm pretty sure insane. I'm pretty sure I can ship just the bundle of boxes as as is, but I got to figure out how much that's going to cost. That's the reason we did those mixed bundles. The shipping's insane. Yep. Poshmark's the best in the game for heavy stuff. Big boxes and heavy stuff, the label just goes right on through. Yep. <laughs> it's the best in the game for that. So if we have to make you a Poshmark deal, we'll make you a Poshmark deal. And they take 20%, but it was either give Poshmark the 20% and manage everything or pay the post office. It was even more than the 20% plus their shipping. Yeah, the big like the big boxes of 100 of the big 10 and a half by 16 inch uh, bubble mailers, uh, the big boxes of 100. Somebody asked me for a shipping quote in Washington State, I believe, and it was like $35 UPS ground. I know. And it's light as anything. Like, I yeah. can carry it with one arm. Yep. So we have to sell them in smaller quantities or something. I don't know how to get them to you guys. That's the only problem I didn't think about. So we've sold everything that we have, except for the stuff that's heavy to ship. Uh, not heavy. Hard to ship. Yeah. Big. So if we have to keep them, we will. But I would love to find a way to get them out to you guys at cost. That's yep. what we did with the other stuff. We just need to sit down and figure it out. Uh, The weight... It, not heavy. It was like eight, eight and a half pounds or something like that. And the, I have it written down. The dimensions of the box were 23 and three quarter by 16 by 11 and a half at 7.67 pounds. <laughs> Media mail. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> my mall rats DVD in it. <laughs> 
it's just padding for the DVD. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's totally good. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> what if we did that? That'd be funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Super padding. <laughs> uh, eBay camp. <laughs> yeah, if you come to eBay camp, you you leave with a hundred bubble mailers. It's your parting gift. Exactly. It's a free giveaway. Yep. But you gotta drive it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a large book. What you can't it's dimensional shipping though it's dim like it's huge. If somebody can figure it out, I I'd love to get these out to you guys. We figured out the average cost on everything. We just broke even on the things that we sent to you guys, and I'm happy about that. I didn't I wasn't trying to make money on it. Yep. I was just happy that we could figure out a way to ship it to you guys and break even. Yep. And save you a little bit of money from buying them from you line. Or wherever they, we looked at everywhere, I found the cheapest and we like, hey, what's the cheapest you could do this? And I think it was like fifty-six dollars or something. And so we did forty-four. And we broke even and you won. I think I think that worked out well. We're just stuck with like a ton of extra stuff. Yeah. But so we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. <clears throat> Man, look at my grades. It's getting some grades, y'all. Facebook is sixteen twenty because they use weight, not dimensions. Really? Right now we're in this is a giant master closet that we've converted into workspace. <laughs> yeah, it's our walk in closet. Yep. It's small. It's smaller than you can imagine. Oh I totally weather balloons, so that's how we do it. Um, uh, but we're okay, you know, it's, the space is used really well in here. Actually, uh, Kevin, there's an office tour on our channel. Yep. And it shows you the little space in here. I think it's it can show you how to use some vertical space if you're limited. For sure. Oh my god, I know. This man will not... No. No more giant plush. We've I haven't picked up any it. giant plush in a while. That's what I said. They said, if you keep picking it up, we're going to need those giant plush. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Charge you on the back and USP of his over cubic book. See, I can't. Yeah. I think they do that too. And we found out one time how they did it. And it was, we would never do that again. Yeah. So I think we can sh send out poly mailers. We just have to do it in smaller quantities, not 100. Mm. Trading things. <laughs> I get y'all cat cracking me up. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> I'm with a skateboard. Lame, 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 lame. lame. The potato. Yeah. <laughs> he had one today that was pretty good. Just like head first, dove the in. The bunny, ra the rabbit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone loves watching Dan pack up plush because right. he does not give a f. You just shove it in there. I would be like, no, wait. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> Always folding the legs and everything. <laughs> All right, we got to go. All right, everybody. Thank you, you so much for time. hanging. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs>